All right, I'll put my game up on the big screen. Um, and we'll get going. Atomic Apocalypse in progress. So here I am at 51st place. Yeah, there's no trophy, there's no marathon trophies, just the standard first, second, and third that you get with any old tournament. Um, so, one thing I've learned from watching so many games is I just play e5 against knight f3, and against knight g5, and I just play f5. And here I play this, and on g3 I play here. And on d3, I take this. And apparently this is good for black. Uh, it's a free knight. I can't turn down a free piece now, can I? If the king goes to f1, then I win this bishop. Um... I guess otherwise I just put the knight out here, push, and went on time. Also, from watching Chess Wiz play, I've learned that I could just play knight c3, and my opponent will resign, and I win. So, yeah, knight c3 is a very strong move. Uh, Let's try knight c3 against this guy. Does he know what to do? Actually, I've beaten him this tournament once already. Um, but I've learned knight e4 is a pretty serious threat, and I need to do something about it. Um, so here we played that same opening that we saw earlier, in, but with me having an extra tempo. Does this affect anything? I don't know. Maybe. Also, just because I'm in check doesn't mean I can't checkmate uh, while I'm in check. So I should have seen that. I should have just made it in. Um, shame on me for not looking. There we go, like this. This is how you deal with check. Just surprise checkmate. Oh, am I going to pass chess whiz? Huh. Not bad. Well, I've learned from the best, eh? All right, knight c3. Oh, well that's different. Uh, okay. Okay. Hey, look, we got a symmetrical... Oh, crap. Here, checkmate me. Okay, you win. Um, hmm, that didn't quite work out. I might need to learn something in that particular variation. See, that other player had the right idea of resigning on move one. Instead, I had to go through the agony of losing an entire game um, to learn. Well, I don't know what I learned because I hadn't actually stopped to analyze it. But uh, if I had analyzed it, yeah, then maybe I'd learned something. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger on his toe. If you, okay. Yeah, that works. <laughs> Never pre-move if it's not a capture. Also, do not pre-move some captures because some captures do lose. Um, okay. Is this bad? Uh, I think this is bad. Yep, I'm pretty sure this is bad. Like I said, I don't know atomic openings. I'm working on learning them. Um, 
Maybe instead of knight c6, d5 was better. We're going to try d5 next time we see that. Okay, so this seems to be playable. This definitely seems to be playable. I've fallen for this once already this tournament. Shame on me if I fall for it twice. Okay, so knight c3 is good. Um, let's try e3. How is e3 combined with this? Can I sack here? Is it even considered a sack if I just take material? Um, take my bishop? Okay. Uh, I don't know what's going on anymore. Take my rook. Take my rook. Check. Check. Wait. Okay. Well, that was intense. That was surprisingly intense. I don't know if I played that well or not. Uh, we'll see. Um, I'm trying to catch up on what people are chatting, and at the same time I'm trying to play the event. It's not easy. Uh, okay. Threatening this. Doing this. Threatening that. Here we go. And meeting one. I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, Stockfish doesn't know anything. It likes to think it knows things. Oh, hey look! I got 70 points, Chess Whiz is at 72. So I've almost passed Chess Whiz. Um, E5 is what I'm supposed to play against Knight of 3. Against Knight G5, I'm supposed to play this. It's that, I don't know, maybe, oh yeah, this, that's right, and then I sack on c2. I keep just barely recalling that. I'm lucky to recall it, but um, I guess better lucky than unlucky, right? Okay, castle. D5, threatening this. Check. Uh, he's not going to take my bishop. He might take on e5. Okay, I've got to get this rook. Um, got the rook. And I win on time. I should have taken f4 and then played the rook there. Actually, no, I don't know that I should have done that. That would have been dangerous. Well, I think people in the top ten have been playing for like six hours, and so they're pretty safe, relatively speaking. Um, I've got 78 points. I think people in the top ten have like 500 points. So, unless lots of people resign a lot, there's it seems unlikely that I make the top ten. Very, very unlikely. Um, e3. Okay, so I said I was going to try d5 here. And then take this. Okay. Oh, crap. Uh, here? This is uncomfortable. Oh, crap. Missed that. Hmm. So I probably didn't play that right either. Maybe it's, oh, e3, e6 is a playable thing, I think. I think some opening book marks that as a mistake, but um, it can't be bad. It can't be too bad. Here we go. Stirring some chaos. Oh, crap. Crap, crap, crap. I'm so dead. I am so dead, I think. 
Jesus, I'm only losing a, a bishop. I thought this was going to be far more severe than that. Check. 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 Yeah, it's really hard to dodge rook checks. Or contact rook checks are really difficult to dodge around. Um, occasionally there are ways you can remove the rook if there are by capturing a piece that isn't the rook. But it's kind of uncommon. All right, so knight of three, e5. Let's try this. Okay, that worked. Um, next game? Yeah, atomic chess is just brutal, man. Positively brutal. Okay. I'm gonna try knight c3. 94, um, don't get mated. Threatening stuff. Threatening stuff. Oh. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. Atomic's hard. Uh, okay. Bishop g5, maybe? Oh, he's just taking mg4. Or there. Alright, so the queen's the only piece I was really terrified of. Um, I'm not afraid of the knight. Um, take there. Oops. Huh, I went on time. My opponent has a mate in one, and I win on time. How just is that? Whew. Okay. I'm still on the ascent, apparently. Um, I want to know how playable... Oh. I now know this is not playable. That only took me like an instant after I moved to see that now nah, this just doesn't work at all. But, um, fortunately my opponent didn't pounce on my mistake. So, okay, sideline the knight. Oh crap, this is not a pin. That This isn't normal chess at all. Uh, okay. Haha, -ha! brilliant! No, he could have just taken my queen that would have removed my bishop from the board. And I can't do bishop takes queen, because his explosion removes both the queen and the bishop. He had me. Um, so c6, c3 is forced. e3, I guess, is playable. Um, I don't know what's going on. Take my knight? That wasn't taking my knight. At least not directly. Why didn't I do this in the other order? Queen h5, queen h3. Okay. Maybe I just don't like winning. Okie dokie. Oops, there goes my queen. Who needs it? Who needs the queen anyway? Or the bishop, or really any piece. Just play the game without the pieces. Okay, I've got a trick or two in my sleeve, but that's about it. Um, these poor guys have been playing for like six hours, and I just walk in and like, hey, what's up, guys? And yeah, I win. Um, okay. So, please tell me this doesn't lose. Are you kidding me? Is this losing? Okay, so I only lost a little bit of material. I'm cutting my losses. 
Um, okay. Can't put my bishop in front of his king. Let's at least try to get my king somewhere to run. Didn't expect him to push that so soon. Just tactically, in terms of time on the clock, it doesn't make sense to time your advance like that. Oh, crap. Well, that's not good. Uh, oops. All right, he got me. Yeah, that was inevitable. Once I'd given up too much material, he just crushed me. I still don't know what to do against that opening. It's quite strong. Um, and that's pretty much how I feel about this entire Atomic game. It's just, I don't know. Stuff happens. Okay, so this time I'm threatening to take on b7. Oh, actually, I have a knight d... Yeah, I have this threat. I've never seen that before, but now it makes sense. So knight d7 to f8 is a huge, huge idea in this opening. Oops, that doesn't win the game. I got cocky. Whatever. Should still be okay, but not winning. Okay. Take my queen! Okay, how many seconds is a queen worth, by the way? I mainly put the queen there just to distract him away from my king. At this point, I'm like, hey, I don't know what's going on. We'll sack the queen. That was my thought process. It was good enough to score me two points. So, should I be proud of it? I don't know. Maybe. Um, all right, so against knight f3, I just play e5. Um, I think this is doable, right? And then I have to play queen here. And I don't know, queen back somewhere. OK. And I guess bishop c5 is forced. I guess knight f6, and two of us now have threats, and gg. So yeah, there's probably some nuances there where I just play knight h6 earlier. I guess knight h6 doesn't stop me from playing f5 the same way other moves might. Um, I don't know if knight h6 works in that particular opening. In some it does, and I guess that opening probably, because what I played loses my queen, so what um, other moves probably make more sense. Um, so I'm threatening knight d7, knight f8 again. Okay. Take my bishop. Take my stuff or don't okay let's just sack it all well, let's protect against knight there All right, 102 points. Not bad. Not bad at all. Attempted banana. What is an attempted banana? Could somebody explain this to me? Is he going to play knight b5? Is that what an attempted banana does? Yes, an attempted banana plays knight b5. OK. That's quite the name. Well, we definitely got enough players in the event for Unihedron to find opponents. And that was my original goal before I started the stream, is uh, I was just trying to find some opponents for our dear colleague and friend. 
I've kind of evolved into something else here where now I'm just owning a lot of people in a row. But um, the original goal was just to find, popularize some event and try to get more people to play in it. And it kind of ended up being a thing. Oh, crap. You know, I need a piece here. Yep. Getting the nope out of there. Getting way the nope out of there. H4, G4, F5, I take. Okay. All right. Five wins in a row. Still, the guys in first have like 500 points or something. Um, still working my way up the rungs. Knight uh, c3? Okay. Um, yeah, let's play knight h6. This might lose. This might lose horrendously. But it might win, so there's a risk and there's a reward. Here's the reward, is I just take there and it's mate. So apparently knight h6 was correct. Or at least against that player it was. Um, yeah, it's a six hour event. Uh, I can't say that I've been playing for six hours, but I know some people have. e3. Okay, I'm gonna go back to this. Back to that. Um, take this. And I don't know, queen d6. Get my king out of here. Have I confused him? Seriously? He's never seen this before. Then I've done well. Uh, okay, well that's not good. Yeah, that wasn't too hard for him to find. Still, what happened there? Oh, knight c3 threatens... Okay, so I needed to play knight g4 instead of knight e4. You can do that next time. There will always be a next time against that opponent. I'll always have more chances to play that guy, uh, apparently. Uh, okay, we'll just trade queens, because I'm really freaking out about this position. Um... F3 stops mates. Threaten to take here. Do take here. Stop knight checks. Oh, let him sack his knight for two pieces. Can't do that. Gotta go here. Oh, see Daisy. I couldn't avoid that. Oh, I should have spent a tempo trading queens, but my opponent clearly outplayed me, so uh, it didn't really matter. He probably would have played me, outplayed me regardless of what I played. Try saying that ten times fast. Uh, or five times. Ten is quite a few. Okay... Yeah, that queen h4 to d4 maneuver is super common at the beginner level. Um, it's one of the first things that, uh, well, once you've learned it, you can't unlearn it. Okay. Yeah, bishop c4 was terrible. I should not have played that. Got my knight pinned. Oh, wait. Got to take d5 and then push queen to f3. Uh, c4. 
Saw that after I moved. Okay. Cheapo. 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 No, not a cheapo. Just confusing. Oh, I got mated. My bad. Let's see, like I was saying, uh, there's a really low chance that I was going to take top 10. Because um, players toward the higher end of this are quite good. Alright. Oops. Well, shit. He didn't play queen b6. Uh, okay. We'll just play on. was a kind gesture, perhaps unintentionally. Um, I might be getting grilled in any event. Why don't I take b8? I could have taken b8. Now I've got b8. Okay. Now I check. I find a way to check you. You get checked. Uh, okay. I got him. Yeah. I don't know if my opponent did that on purpose or what. Maybe he did. But I have to play uh, with aggression if I'm playing competitively. There's no point in playing competitively and then, like, easing off the gas. It doesn't make sense. Um, okay. Let's take this. Threatening queen h4. Threatening queen f2. Uh, queen g3. Okay, take me. In the knight. Go for more threats. More threats, and GG. So that wasn't a bad game. I think I played that pretty well. Maybe I can score top 20. Maybe top 20 is possible. Assuming, of course, I get a pairing, which I think I will. There's a pairing. E5. Uh, can I do this? I didn't even think about that until this game. It seems to be an option. Take here, and I've confused my opponent for just a brief while. Um, all right, if he moves the knight, I take there. Uh, if he doesn't move the knight, maybe I take there anyway. Uh, let's get the crap out of here. And now uh, I've got some pretty serious threats of my own. That's an interesting thought. I'm not sure I would repeat that experiment. Uh, maybe I would. Okay. It's e3 anyway, c3 anyway. Free queen. Can't say no to a free queen. Uh, oh shoot. GG. I missed that I needed to play d3. Or queen f3 or something. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, going berserk is totally allowed. Um, it's just not generally recommended. Wait, what? Okay. So I can't repeat the same mistake I made the other game. Um, 
We'll make a different mistake this time. Oh well, I was down on time anyhow. Um, but I admit, I have no idea what I'm doing. So, um, I'll be forever banished to the ranks of the 2000s. Uh, That's not good. It's just panic. Okay, we gotta take here. That's not good at all. Okay. I'll take a win. I kind of well, I earned that in the sense that I kept moving. Um, in terms of the moves actually played, I probably did not earn that. But I did keep moving, uh, which apparently is a virtue in its own right. Uh, okay. Wait, why didn't I just do knight g5? Here we go, knight g5. Uh, d4, d4. Here we go. Oh, I could have done better. Okay, what's that move? What is this H4 thing? Oh, that was the thing I was commenting on in Unihedron stream. Somebody played it, and I said, that looks cool, and I want to try it. And then I completely forgot about it. That's what H4 is. That's not good. Oops, I shuffled the wrong way. I'm bad at this. Alright, at least I didn't lose on time. But man, I'm bad at that king shuffling thing. I need to push more pawns and don't push my king as often. Um, okay. E3 East. Okay, well, I don't admit to knowing what's going on. Ha! <laughs> okay. I have to have my day in the sun, right? Okay. There's my 15 minutes of fame, right then and there. That's all it's ever going to be.
And GG ish, maybe. Take that. Okay, I gotta sack my queen. I got three pieces. That's not bad. These lines are complicated. Oh my goodness. Wait, did I win a queen? Alright, I won a queen. Shit. I guessed incorrectly. I've been playing too quickly. I assumed he'd just play rook g8, which is let any... well, e3 makes a lot of sense too. Both of those are really good tries and traps, and I just guessed the wrong one because I didn't see both of them, and I uh, didn't see that I was up six seconds on the clock, so I just moved way too quickly. And I accuse other people of that all the time, and in that case I flagrantly violated the moving the pieces too quickly um, thing. Oops, well shit. He did get the past pawn, but that wasn't enough. Um, wow, five minutes to go. Five minutes to go, and I'm playing the number five seed. Um, Wait, why did I do that? Is this okay? Is that a free queen? Is any queen ever free? There's never a free queen. All the free queens are lies. Uh, there is a free king though, so... I'll take that. Okay. I think I remember some of this. Uh, is this okay? Probably not. Sack. And develop this way. Develop that way. Plant the bishop here. Take that. Oh, that's not good. I'm in trouble. There's trouble in River City. Capital T, and it rhymes with P, and it stands for pool. Okay. Oh, I won on time. Okay, well, that alleviates some of the trouble. Um, so I'm working my way up. That's amazing that I've gotten so far. Uh, E3, E6. I got paired with this dude again. Uh, I'm just going to play King D8. Take that. Let's see what happens.
Push more pawns. Push all the pawns. As far as the pawns may go. Oh my goodness. Well, that's what it takes to win on time, apparently. Um, E4. F4. Here we go. Yeah, I can't do knight d5 at the last minute. I was going to call an audible and play knight d5, and then I realized that such a move just instantly loses. Um, this is check. Okay. That particular knight d5 allows knight takes e4, but that gets rid of his knight, so I thought it was okay. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I can't tell. Uh, there's a lot I can't tell in this kind of setting. Check. Alright, I've never seen that check before. Not until this game. You would think that I would see such a tactic, I don't know, without so much difficulty. Um, Oops, I missed the... okay. Well, that's a fancy way to checkmate. No, I just needed to play bishop f1, not bishop e1. That bishop e1 was entirely redundant and unnecessary. Yeah, but there's no way I'm going to be able to gain, like, 10 points in the last minute, so... Um, so it's been a fun event. If I can get just four more, oh, would that be glorious. Oh, I'm not getting a pairing. Oh, that makes sense. It's logical. If I got one more pairing, maybe I could have passed Rex, which would have been one heck of an accomplishment, let me tell you. Oh man, good good games to everybody. What a tournament! And with that, we hail our new champion. Very well played, Creeds Unihedron and Takeda. Uh, or is it Takeda? I don't know. Very well played, everybody. It was a good event, very good event. Um, yeah, Creed's definitely stole the event. How close was this? 850 tournament points uh, to 631 to 418. Quite the spread. Okay, well, let's check where... I mean, we saw that I finished in, like, 12th place. 10th place is a solid 175. I had somewhere around 120 or 140 or something, so, um, 160, whatever. Yeah, I didn't place top 10. That's unfortunate. Good games, one and all. Um, with that, I'm going to take a brief break and probably come back later and, um, you know, play a different kind of variant. Um, you know, yeah. So I'll take a break. I'll come back. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.